what if I tell you this, I'm studying in industrial engineer, you're going to have the a bright future. And you would say, hmm, really? I'm sure after today's webinar that you are going to, um, I mean, change your impression about, I mean, industrial engineering. When I ask you what kind of impression that you have about industrial engineers, you might think those engineer wear the hat, you know, the, the helmet, yeah, working in the dark and dirty factory and monitoring the, uh, the production line, okay? Not a rosy career at all. I want to ask you one question. Do you know one of the most popular, I mean, influential business leader in the world, in the world now is from industrial engineer background. Uh, Tim Cook, um, the CEO of Apple. The Cook is studying in the industrial engineer, engineering in, uh, at the Auburn, uh, University. Uh, Auburn University is just in his hometown. And did not, he didn't, did not go to any fancy, uh, university. The industrial engineering is a study how to system, systematically um, identify the complicated uh, um, industrial product system and find a solution. They are trying to reduce the cost and optimize the resource. That is the industrial engineering they do, right? In this uh, cook time, those industrial engineering courses in Auburn University train cook how to grab the uh, key issue whenever that is complicated situation. And he learned how to do it in the relative short period of the time. The optimization focus capability that he's, the training he's got, he's getting in industrial engineer has a profound effect on Cook's career. Cook first that he used to work in IBM. So what he did is he was, I mean, he was responsible for supply chain management. So his job is ensure all kinds of parts required for the PC uh, assembly line would be adequately supplied without shortage, without excess, I mean, extra inventory, without increasing any cost when they are doing this. Yeah. And he did it so well. I think he worked in IBM for about 10 years. And after that, he worked in Compaq. Uh, he did it so well that, I mean, in, 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 uh, in IBM, he very quickly had been promoted to the director of PC uh, department and then responsible for the whole North America manufacturing and logistics. And then he, in that time, that in 19, um, 1998, that he was uh, one of the most famous uh, supply chain management um, expert in that, in that, in US in that time. So when Steve Jobs pulled back to Apple in 1996, two years in 1998, he still don't know, my God, I mean, Apple, he know that he knew that Apple was in trouble. So he tried to level the best. He tried to convince Cook to join him. Okay. Join Apple. And you will say, huh? You need to convince anyone to join Apple. Do you know what situation that Apple was in 1998? It, it would be very difficult for you to imagine. Right now, you look at how successful the Apple and the iPhone is today. That time, because Apple's product line was too messy and the operation efficiency was too low compared with all the competitors in the market. So especially they are chaotic in their supply chain, right? So that time in 1998, Apple almost went, I mean, almost going bankrupt, really, that time. Even all the friends told told him not to join Apple. This is a company which are in danger. You should not join. But he, he took the, uh, uh, you know, brave decision and say, jump into that, you know, the very fragile, I mean, um, Apple. And then as a uh, um, senior VP of global operation. So he's responsible for Apple manufacturing and supply chain. What he did in, uh, in Apple, those revolutional like operation strategy, he did change the entire electrics product industry. With seven months only, he compressed the product, the uh, product inventory cycle in Apple from 30 days to six days means that he increased um, 400% of the productivity, 400%, yeah? And that time, in only seven months of the time, he was able, that Apple was able to uh, catch up with Dell. That time, Dell was famous for its efficient supply chain. Um, actually, they do most of them are from China, yeah? So Cook significant reduce the uh, production cost, which is very crucial for Apple to survive at that time. So he turned... And one thing, the very special thing that he had turned, he had done is that he turned like Apple um, product from 100% own manufacturers into 100% outsourcing manufacturing strategy. In this way, that the long-term invent, I mean, inventory problem that, I mean, Apple has that it fundamentally got solved. That got, you know, I mean, it got zero now, right? So what else that he had done? Like in order to accurately manage the data of the sales order and then inventory, cook make a huge investment in the software system. They completely connect all the supplier, retail, uh, retailer to make the best, based on the data they have. I mean, he's able to make the best um, business decision, decision possible. For example, I want to share with you, this, uh, this is a very interesting example that he had done. One time in order to uh, to tie up, uh, to tie a, a blockbuster um, product, 
to the market for Christmas. The main product they're going to launch in Christmas. So what he did is that he booked an air freight cap- capacity worth of 100 million US dollars, few months in advance. So Christmas time, like people might need to ship in November, for example, the first week of December, right? So he put in, for example, in August, book all the fry. Okay. Any, any, I mean, cargo. I mean, he just booked it. What happened is when this product went public, he successfully managed the huge logistic pressure because the, uh, the customers are crazy order, right? In the same time that he would, because he put all the fry, you know, capacity. Right. So he was able to disturb the competitors good to launch to deliver on time in the market. So Cook won the very difficult battle and make his name in the industry. So without those like fancy, I mean, uh, job title, I think most of the people you might not know, those like a CEO, they are from like cheap sales, uh, cheap product designer, cheap uh, marketing. Cook show his outstanding capability through his knowledge in optimizing the operation efficiency. So he was appointed by Steve Jobs as his uh, successor, uh, as Apple CEO. How is this the industrial engineering CEO performed so far? When he took over the, the, the Apple in 2011, Apple has a, a market share of 300 billion US dollar. Today, it worth 2.6 trillion. In these 10 years, he increased the value of uh, Apple 8,100 times, right? And by the way, his, uh, uh, his, uh, yearly com- compensation is about 130 million US dollars. So in this story, I want to, it's not a story. It's a fact. Yeah. So I would like you to know the potential career potential of this industrial expert. If you want to know more about, um, study in Taiwan or, um, information about Taiwan, please so- like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.